UN Update, reporting from the United Nations, I'm Frank Uciardo. The high drama surrounding the elections for the five non-permanent Security Council seat involved Italy and the Netherlands. After five rounds of voting, the General Assembly was deadlocked and neither country was able to get the two-thirds majority of votes needed to win the seat. So they struck a deal to split the seat with each nation serving one year. Italian Foreign Minister Paolo Gentiloni said the compromise between Italy and the Netherlands could send a message of unity between the two European countries. Our ambition is to give a contribution. I think we will give a serious contribution. And we will do this uh, for 2017. This is, we are not splitting the responsibility, uh, sharing the same seat two countries. We are splitting the time. Dutch Foreign Minister Bert Coenders said it was important to show unity during a complex time for Europe. Important for two reasons. One, it shows in a complex time the spirit of cooperation in Europe, which is necessary, I think. Secondly, I think it shows the determination of my country, but I think also of Italy, to work together at a time of so many geopolitical conflicts, of the lack of cooperation in the world. It is a spirit of the compromise itself, by the way that we are represented, that might help also to catalyze the work in the Security Council. During the first round of voting, Sweden won a two-year seat with 134 votes in favor. When it comes to humanitarian assistance, to make sure that we also look at what are the needs of, of women, how can we best support them. So I think it's a, it's a principled view that can be applied in many different situations without being confrontative or, or extreme. Ethiopia and Bolivia, who faced no opposition, were also elected. The UN Security Council seats are allocated by region, and regional groups nominate candidates. Ten non-permanent members are elected for two-year terms. In the second round of voting, Kazakhstan overwhelmed Thailand, getting 138 votes to Thailand's 55. The newly elected countries will replace Angola, Malaysia, New Zealand, Spain, and Venezuela on the council beginning on January 1, 2017. This was not the first time candidates agreed to split a term on the Security Council. The last time was in 1959. After 52 rounds of voting, Poland and Turkey agreed to split a two-year term. UN Update, reporting from the United Nations, I'm Frank Uciardo.